Hello, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and today guys I'm gonna show you for my reward how to install a wall connector or a, a wall box or however you call it and you will see it after this intro. Tesla wants you to install wall connectors or wall chargers like one of these ones. First thank you for the referral and thank you for sending me the wall uh, charger and I have a video now how to install these wall chargers. I sent you, show you another one. That's the one with the short cable. Just when the charge port is directly here. The first wall connectors, it's actually produced from Clipper Creek. I uh, changed it a little bit so that I can also use it for my Model 3. And plugging in with the J7072 and uh, an adapter in the Model 3 only charges with 48 amp. And for sure with the Roadster as well, up to 70 amp. So first, is all, first of all, what is in that wall connector? So let's open that box and then you see here is the big main unit. Here's an instructions book, couple of couple of screws uh, to hold it, connectors, cable, wiring. Yeah, this is to how to connect it directly to the wall be behind. Very nice made. And then here is that typical wall connector and that's the signature one. Where does that unit go? That unit goes over here. And that one is for John because I promised him when I am replacing that wall connector he gets the old one. And that old one is already six and a half years old still working. So that is not recommended for non-professionals. Uh, please consult an electrician. In order to do that, I have already the wiring there. I just have to hook it up again. And then I'm gonna show you how that works. So uh, watch out when that's green, there is power in it, but you also have to validate if there's power in it. And then here's some screws below where you have to talk screws where you have to loosen them. But before you all that do, Go first to your breaker box and take the breaker off. So that is the breaker box after the power wall and you open that from the hook here and then you are looking for the Tesla charger. So that is a 100 amp inch, uh, fuse. And there are two, one of them from the left and one of them from the right. So, turning off the right first. So, and what tools do you need for that? Is you need actually a pretty special tools because you need Torx and secure Torx. So, how does that look like? So, here are Torx and they are looking like a star. But like an asterisk here and then the secure torques are the ones which are hole in it so they are pretty tough to get by I have two sets of that you can also have an electric screwdriver there and then you can start with that to first uninstall those two ones to get the front plate off and that's a Torx 20 gets in there uh, because I'm too lazy to do that manually, I take an electric driver and you see there, you can keep this one holded and it still turns on the top. So let's start.
careful with the merchandise when you open that. This is from here and then you can take that off. And here is the connection to the light there. And then you have to disconnect this portion as well. You must be sure that there is no power in it. Actually, we could measure that also. Let's see if we can disconnect this portion first. Careful, yes, here. Put that to the side. And then we're gonna measure if there's still power in that. And when you measure that, you have to make sure that it's working and that the battery is here actually working as well. And I'm using lithium batteries in there. Actually, they are pretty good. They are from Kent Lee from China and they are rechargeable, so you don't throw them away. And how you charge those little batteries? Actually, they are delivering with the batteries also a charger on a USB 12 volt. And you are charging on a USB 12 volt those little tiny batteries. And you can recharge them almost anywhere. So then this piece works again. All right, here. And the first thing what is, we are measuring on another device, if that measures correct. For that, I have here another backup, 240 volt, 14-50, NEMA 14-50. That's, you can also measure it on 120. So you put it on volt, and then you are sticking that in here and see if power is there. Actually power is there. It come on. It measures DC. It should not. Let's go to another function. AC. So as you see that AC measure 247 volt. Yes, here, yeah, 247. And then, if you want to measure only one phase, then you can put it on the neutral. And that one phase is 123.6, 3.7. Or the other phase is the other way around. And that is 123.4. So this device is working. So now measuring here and here are two faces going in. These are the two faces. One and two. And there is no voltage on it. 0 0.035. Probably some residual voltage. So that's the ground. That is one face. That's the other face. That goes to that main connector through here to that plate. This one is one of the first generation wall chargers because there's no, no dial switch for the amperage. There is a dip switch here which is very close here and then you have to change the dips to how many power you want to have going through or getting pulled from here. And what we only have to do is disconnect the two faces and the ground, which is here connected. So once we have done that, we can take the big plate off and take the whole unit off and then only the base plate will remain. So now we can loosen these ones here on the top, those two, and then also the ground, and then you can pull it through and take that off. Now you can loosen the base plate here and here. See, this is where your electrician starts with. Here comes a new base plate. 
and that looks completely different for sure. So how that works is actually you have to punch in through that pre-connected thing and then you have to hook it up to here on top of that. So that doesn't fit with the old one as for sure now my charger gets lower. So and these are the two holes here where you are connecting that device or the whole charger to the wall or to one of those brackets. Actually that's how it should be done. Here's that plate and then you press that through. So that is a hole through and you can put that on. Yeah, or in between here. Okay, now let's continue. So from here, show you that a little bit closer. From here, you are pulling that big wire through and pulling that through that hole, and then you put the ring on top of it. Super, so all of them, in order to lock that down. And then you're connecting the faces, the the ground first here on ground, G and D, and then there is one phase and another phase, phase one and phase two. So that's the connection to your utility or to your breaker. So this one is very important. So you loosen those screws and then if you put the wire all the way back in, you need to tighten them up very good because if you don't do that, it can create sparks and those sparks will, uh, can ultimately at the end causing a fire. I had to strip some insulation of the wires off and then I had to stick them all the way in and then tie them down very good. So and you can see that from here. Two faces, one ground. And now I have to attach this one to the wall again. So I took just the old construction and reattached it the same way and then it gets actually hooked up with from those plates here in the back onto that uh, track. Same way from here. I think this comes from my photovoltaic system the same way. Now the back plate is attached to the wall and here pulled it on. As you can see, and now we have to take the charger and put it here on top. Look at the tools for the attachment. There are torques. What is the torque? A security torques in there. That's uh, TT10. And then there is a TT, that's a bigger size. TT20. Both of the security torques are there with the screws. Pretty amazing. As you know that signature charger here, it's actually only the plate. It's like the same like a black charger, but only the plate with a laser etched Elon signature on it. So you have to take that blade off and actually we showed that already. Here's one torque screw in there and then you can uh, clip it off. And once you have that clipped off, then you have here a whole bunch of torque screws. And these are security torque 20s. And you open that box here. The screws are all out. And then you can take that lid off. And look at this, it's not connected. So that's the connection for the light here. And that is currently not connected. So as you can see it from here. Here's a connection for that. It's not connected. You have to connect it once you're ready. Use copper conductors only. And then here's also the switch settings for the amperage what you run to, want to run through. So here are the switch settings. And mine goes all the way to switch setting D for 80 amp. And all of the screws are being taken off, as you can see here, and then you take that lid off, and the lid is not connected yet. Wall charger out, 
through the holes you get those wire through one face black red and the ground and then you connecting the two faces to the big uh, connectors here and the ground face is all the way in the back there there's the ground to be connected to so and actually it's screwed in so I have to screw that out and then tighten it up so here on the side you just push it up and then you're later locking down the screws here on both sides from here and let's do that big screws to the top and the small to the bottom I don't know why they're using two different screws for that probably they have uh, reasons and that on both sides both talk 20 then connect the main faces one face two face push that all the way in hold it and then clamp it down and it needs to be really good clamped in and here in the back is the ground wire same way these other wires are coming from the uh, standard plate here in the back oh, here you're gonna see the little switch a dial and it's standard on one and should be on D in my case for 80 amp maximum but in your case it is whatever it is here that should be so you have to look at your wiring and what your breaker is plus 20% in the US so I have a 100 amp breaker uh, minus 20% are uh, 80 amp so then it's on 80 amp as you can see now the dial is on D now put the top uh, the plate on it to, or the lid on it it's not the top lid it's only the uh, lid underneath just to cover that so and then don't forget to connect connect uh, the wires so otherwise you don't have any light there so here we go put the lid on it and close one screw after the next one Before I close it all away, I'm gonna test that so that secure lid is on it. And I'm gonna turn the switch on of the breaker and I put the wires already around it and I try to test it. And then after that, I'm finishing it up with the little other cosmetics. And that's a good sign. And see how much amperage we are pulling now. Actually, it's right now on 50 because I have it reduced on 50. But I can bump it up even more and I'm putting it up to 70. 71. I think that's the maximum what you can do on a Model X. I'm going to test that as well. So it, it's providing the maximum. 72. Yeah, it runs on 71. So the last of the cosmetics. And we put this big plate on it first, or the laser engraved Elon Musk signature plate. And we're gonna take took those plugs, what we got with it as well, and place it on it as here, because we don't want to have that open. You have to attach that screw as well to the plate. And, and then a little bit more cosmetics, as you see these where are the screws here and there are some plugs for this the big ones and the small ones so 
so there's all one flush side here. And uh, watch the lower ones, they are even side dependent. So because they are going in an angle here. Let's compare the signature to Martina's car. You saw those two scribbles. And then you see that is the signature signed with a fountain pen. And then we go to the laser edge signature. Probably the computer made it a little bit easier to just do two scribbles. Yeah, and by the way, this one is for John. I put my old one when I switched to the in back into the new box, and John is getting a Model 3, and also he's getting a wall charger from me. The old one still in use. And you know, guys, I cannot throw anything away. I make some use out of that. And that goes to John. And he's happy about that. And he's going to charge probably a uh, uh, semi-Tesla with it. Actually, uh, smart. And later his Model 3. So that comes into the old, to the, into the, new, the old charger comes in the new wall box. Say. I went and said